Aloha everyone, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a collective message for the Equinox. So Equinox um, happens this year on September 22nd and 23rd, depending where you live in the world. Um, Equinox is the time where we are changing the seasons as well as there is equal daylight and equal darkness um, for that day. Uh, Equinox is quite important for leveling out the playing field. Uh, the message that I was getting while I was tuning into this collective is as above, so below. So we're going to be bringing some things into Earth at this time um, that we've been working on for quite some time. At the time that this video is recorded and this Equinox is happening, it's uh, rather special in the sense that there are six planets and three um three asteroids retrograde um until three of those planets will drop off in early october and go direct but right now there is this um energy excuse me my nose is itching there is this energy of um in august we had lionsgate and two north node placements uh, one second excuse me we have um two north node placements which have which have to do with destiny the third was at the beginning of september um so we have been going through course correction <clears throat> and change as a collective uh starting it's a major um transit here in august it's basically like what spirit um, and universe has been saying is we are course correcting you to your highest destiny so some of us lost relationships some some people uh, have passed on to and graduated to spirit um, uh, you know had some deaths going on there's been movement jobs lost and new jobs coming in there has been a lot of moving houses changing of relationships excuse me if you can hear penny she's really chewing hard on her bone um so i pay attention to that so the energy is a little bit uh high right now um but she'll she'll chew it out <laughs> right um so essentially we are all going through huge transition uh huge course correction at this time to move us to our highest destiny so what the first message before i even get into the cards or into the main message is spirit saying if you've lost anything that was important to you whether that be a relationship a job a person that passed on to the other side um all that you have lost seemingly okay is going to be returned to you in a better state okay so this would be if you had a relationship with someone and you're in separation they're either going to come back to you and reconcile or a new relationship that's at a higher level vibrationally that was more fitting to where you go is going to be coming on in if you've lost a job or are feeling the need to leave a job or you've had a little bit of money loss anything that you felt like you lost is coming back to you magnified okay so you're going it's going to be better it's going to be more financially prosperous so there is a leveling out and the group that um i tend to attract are high level star seeds uh light workers those who maybe don't originate from planet earth originally that are here to help to lead the ascension process so i know we have all been going through it we've all been being moved to our uh, new vibrational frequencies and remember in the realm of spirit you are always at the beginning so as soon as we've mastered something we enter into our next stages of initiation where it's completely unknown so we are always as a collective especially as leaders of the ascension process and and um some are soldiers as as it were in the spiritual realms and uh, maybe in the physical realm as well you might do uh, dual duty there <laughs> right um we're being like i said course corrected and so in that realm of spirit we're always the eternal student we're always at the beginning okay 
Um, so before I get into the cards, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. Thank you so much for those who have donated, tipped, um, sent me snail mail. If you want to send me that, that's in the description box below. And for those who comment, uh, remember where two or more are gathered, their source energy is with you. So when you comment and connect into the grid, uh, you connect into not just me, but all of the community that we're building together. And then our energies all help each other uh, to both ascend, but also to get our outcomes and our goals. So thank you so much for that. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, we are always protected, uh, pardon me, with, with Penny is definitely on alert right now. So many of you may feel like you're on alert. What Spirit's saying is that your uh, future is protected, okay? Um, so she's guarding the door right now. So knowing that in spirit and on earth, you are protected as you move through these shifts and changes. I always pay attention to what my dog is doing because she's working with me. Okay. So let's get in on to the reading. Um, really beautiful energies here. So the card that was pulled, the archetype is magnetism. All right. So this equinox is really important for the viewers that are watching this collectively. We are becoming more magnetic. We are entering a higher timeline. Look at her third eye. There is just on the royal purple and it has like the spiral um <clears throat> her whole face everything's flowering there's transformation in how you communicate okay and we've got the earth here at her throat chakra all right in this necklace uh the earth is very very important at this time so those of us who are incarnated in a physical body watching this we are coming into a stronger connection with earth mother gaia okay so many of us are being called to um change our magnetism as it were to magnetize higher to create higher um many of you may be attracted to the magnetic and energy vortices of the earth and the ley lines so if you have gotten the call to travel if you've gotten the call to visit these sacred spaces there is a reason um because our next cards they're all basically earth cards as it were okay so we've got um <clears throat> from the light white light oracle We've got the sovereignty of Queen Maeve. And it says, value what is sacred to you by protecting it from interference, even that which may be well-intentioned. Be compassionate, but set firm boundaries. You're going to triumph over a negative situation. It will take courage, but you have more than enough inner strength, resourcefulness, and boldness to accomplish what you wish to attain. Do not give up. You have the ability to connect with higher worlds. So open your heart and mind to the light. Okay. You are being guided as this magnetism is increasing. Many of you are going to go from a time where it felt like you'd mastered a certain lesson. But for me, I know for myself and for many of my light worker friends, it has been all quiet on the earth in front for a little bit um it has been uh like not as many ideas flowing through um <clears throat> it's been a little bit on the be still and wait for the right timing um <clears throat> and it feels like with this those situations are going to be overcome whatever it has been where you feel like you've taken two steps forward four steps back this retrograde season can certainly feel like that. But as the planets start to go direct um, from equinox through eclipse season towards the end of the year, uh, we will only have one planet that is retrograde um, going into January, into the new year. So it's going to start feeling like you're waking up from a fog, that your magnetism is changing, that your ideas start coming back, that the inspiration and inspired ideas are coming in that may be different from what you originally wanted or a higher level to what you originally wanted. Um, so we're definitely in this space at Equinox of 
a leveling out that so those seemingly negative situations are going to start to have lift to them you're going to start feeling um, where it has been a very purgy time uh, physically mentally emotionally spiritually for all of us in varying degrees uh, regardless of where you are in your ascension process um, we have all been going through updates upgrades that i know myself it has been on all levels okay um so you're not alone first off and your magnetism is changing okay for me i had uh my magnetism change that brought me to a different island for the last year over a little over a year okay um and it has been the proper path for my journey to level me up okay to put me into my own sovereignty so many of us you know if your magnetism starts to change it's changing for the better so maybe where you thought that you wanted to live my goodness okay penny enough maybe where you thought that you wanted to live maybe where you thought that you um what you wanted may start to change a little bit and that is perfectly good okay so we want to listen to our internal and spiritual promptings um because you're going to be moving forward because there is a resolution to a negative situation that's happening during this equinox and it is to level you up you, we are really heightening okay the next one is the telepathy of terra mater which is the earth mother and that's number 36 which yields down to a nine and this says the pathway for your spiritual fulfillment and the sacred manifestation of your pur purpose is not necessarily logical and will evolve organically the skillful and unpredictable workings of the earth mother are supporting your soul journey unconditionally following up on inspired ideas and allowing for unexpected shifts in direction are integral to the manifestation of your soul purpose commit to an idea that feels good to your heart even if it seems improbable or unattainable it will manifest successfully okay this is what it's saying focus earth mother is saying focus on the desire of your heart it is going to manifest the path in which you get the manifestation may not be the one that you thought it was going to be okay so allow yourself to be flexible because your magnetism's changing changing um, during this equinox mama earth and your spirit team are taking you out they're bringing you into your sovereignty and taking you out of a negative situation there's changes that are occurring even if something seems absolutely improbable what spirit's saying is that it will manifest okay it may manifest in a different way so you allow for when we do our manifestations it's important for us to dream to ask for what we want and then to let it go it's the job of our higher self and source and all of the cooperative components around us to bring us that manifestation the how is up to source and your higher self it is not up to the what the part of us that is manifested in a physical form to do the how okay and so this is letting yourself off the hook a little bit i feel like with this group there is a letting go of control because there's a lot of type a's in this group there's a lot of people who have really been through um i'm feeling like a lot of spiritual tests and triggers so you're wanting to hold on to a little bit and i keep here like seeing yoda talking about um you know attachment and being willing to let go of all that you fear to lose because you're about to magnetize what you want back to you in a higher form okay so there is an element of flexibility that's happening at this time all right so we have this beautiful crown chakra with the earth star chakra with earth okay as above so below okay so we've got um, mother nature nurture nature the unlimited self and initiation part of this equinox is helping you to bring your spirit ideas onto earth 
you are going through an initiation. We all are. This is a collective message. But this, this is saying that dreams become reality. Part of your dream is to make paradise on earth, okay? Because you guys are in this light worker stage. Let me grab a little drink of water here. Mm. Um, keep dreaming of what you want because you're going to be bringing it into the earth form. The highest level of what you want, your highest dreams, be there because it's connecting to your earth star chakra, which is about um, 12 inches or so below your feet. Okay, it's not your root chakra, it's the earth star chakra. Okay, so this connects with your soul star chakra, which is just outside the crown chakra. So you are bringing into the earth your dreams and your manifestations. And what it's saying is this is going to manifest in real time on earth. So this magnetism that you have, what is changing is you're about to bring in the physical manifestations of what you've been asking for. So this is indicating harvest and this we did just have the harvest full moon. That is the energy that we're in. There is a balancing of the scales. I feel like you guys have been of service for many, many years. This group, you guys have been giving and giving and giving often with no expectation to receive back. Um, but now is the time for you to receive back. Spirit is saying for all of the work that you have done prior. This group, you guys have been quite selfless. In many occasions, you've been of service either to sacred spaces, sacred people, sacred ideals, those who have been impoverished, those who um, have been going through darker times. Many of you have worked with people who are dying, who have had addictions. Um, this group... You guys are like earth angels. And what Spirit's saying with this equinox and this collective message here is that you are going to be rewarded for work that you have already done, for service that you have already given. And some of you have watched other people all receive um, from the good work that you've been doing. You receive their blessings, receive um, uh, their stuff and sometimes with this group what I'm hearing is like well when is it my turn and you're not meaning to be um, you know mad or jealous or any of that sort it's just like well when's it my turn to have what I've asked for on earth and what they're saying is the time is now so this is showing from equinox the next six to nine months you're going to be receiving in blessings after blessings after blessings um, I would say because Lionsgate, we opened up the next 10 year and beyond cycle. We did. I just saw uh, there was death. When I cut the deck here, there was death card of Scorpio. This is of transformation and rebirth. And we have judgment. All right. You guys have heard the spiritual call. Um, there is again, this is about reconciliation there. So and not just reconciliation, but it's um you've heard the spiritual call and what's being reconciled to you is what has been out of balance you have been giving too much and so now you're about to receive back so this could be reconciliation with a person but it's almost like a balancing of the books like when i look at the akashic records you have kind of overgiven, and now it's time for you to receive okay so this magnetism is you are receiving in your blessings because remember the more joy the more blessing the more uh, love that you have the happier the more laughter that you have that is the vibration the high vibration of earth that brings in the new earth that brings in a paradise on earth that is the paradise program is joy humor uh enjoying love like embracing one another okay so you're about to have and, and high frequency is, you know, being sustainable on the earth plane. So this may mean wealth and riches and money coming in, or some of you might do more of an off-grid living, but having all of your needs taken care of, being abundant, being wealthy, being rich, and you can be rich in many things, okay? Money included, but it's not the only thing. You can be rich in love. You can be rich in happiness, satisfaction, okay? All of that's coming in for you. Let's get a couple of the mermaid tarot. How is this equinox affecting the collective? What do you want them to know, spirit? 
this is beautiful you guys i feel like you're not even really ready for all of the changes that are going to happen like you're ready but i feel like for many of you you've let go of some dreams that are now going to be coming on into manifestation it's like you got out of your own way and it feels a bit miraculous because you're balancing from root to crown as we call it in hawaii here the bookends <laughs> so you're balancing that which then that energy comes out the heart chakra okay okay beautiful Let me get the cards and then we'll talk about it. This is great, you guys. I feel like just one of the things they're asking, because they're asking me to do this too, they're saying just relax, okay? Rest, do things that are fun for you. Um, I feel like with you guys, you've been so used to being in service that to have others to serve you or to love on you has been a new experience, but they're wanting you to... They're wanting you to um, relax and let other people give to you, okay? Beautiful. Okay. So we have magnetism with the Knight of Swords. So you guys are magnetizing in quick communication and there's quick changes i do feel like there's communications there's things during this equinox time i feel like there's communications and things coming back to you that are magnetizing to you that you didn't expect to hear from or um, there's truth because this is archangel michael's sort of truth here that this person holds okay and so you're about to get information that cuts through any kind of dissonance like you're magnetizing truth and open communication to you in all realms okay so i feel like your spiritual communication is going to increase and be clearer this is a card of clarity and fast movement and that clarity is coming on in so if you've been waiting to hear from a lover or a job interview or about a project or about um this can also be ideas, communication straight from spirit. So if you've been wanting some ideas, understand communication in all forms is coming in for you. And this is what you're magnetizing. You're magnetizing the clarity, the communication, and the forward movement. And it's all happening. We have with the Southern, Sovereign Queen Maeve. You're going from a negative situation is about to resolve itself and not just resolve itself. We have six of pentacles here. This is a harmonizing effect. So you're about to come into harmony with yourself and the world around you. And this is a gift from the universe. It's going to feel like a gift from the universe. They keep using the word miracle. I feel like for many of you, because you've been in the denser type of energies maybe even feeling like you've been in a dark night of the soul this is going to feel like a miracle to have your energy rejuvenated to have the conversations that need to be had that are going to help you to feel joyful notice how all these people are working together in harmony we've got the fairies with the blue wings okay so um they're saying blue winged butterflies or blue light orbs may be something for you guys so you may have been seeing blue butterflies or little lights um you know that flash like out of your peripheral that have a blue tint to them know that that's your spirit team getting your attention to let you know that they are blessing you and that you do have these blessings coming in oh wow the light got real a little bit darker in here okay we have the telepathy of terramater with the queen of cups okay first off earth mother wants to say how proud and how much that she loves you her heart is pouring out to you um, let me see if I can oh. her heart is pouring out to you there is beautiful beautiful energy here remember that you are one with the earth it's also saying that all that's coming in all that's manifesting and harvesting at this time is going to put you in a state of overflowing love they're wanting you to uh, do self first and fill up your own cup the queen of cups is the most love in the deck 
given to and received okay so uh, all the love that you're giving out you're going to be receiving that back your life's about to be much more beautiful much more juicy much more loving um there's lots of things for you to be satisfied about to be in love with and this is also earth mother herself saying how much she loves you how much appreciation that the work that you've done just by being you here on earth and so you're about to harvest um beautiful good feeling emotions and you'll start to feel that before even it manifests on earth you'll just start feeling good you know uh sometimes you might only be able to hold that good feeling for a few minutes a day um but then it'll start to ramp up where you're feeling good most of the day don't know why the last few days uh, like I've been in and out of different emotional scale, but I've been like, there's good news coming. There's good news coming. And I felt this like lightness about that good news coming. And I've had a lot of change in things myself at this time that are a little bit heavy or could uh, could cause some depression. Right. Um, and it's OK to feel all of the feelings because we it's contrast. Right. But there has been this feeling like this is about to lift there like i don't know what it is okay but it's this energy coming in like of just being so well loved not just from the the heavens or the people around me but from earth herself and um there's this level of appreciation that i'm feeling that is different than anything that i've ever felt before so i'm very excited for the collective as we fully embody this new transition of mother earth into this um appreciative mode this loving mode that that she's always loving but we're feeling it in a much higher uh a higher density like a higher dimensional uh way uh, we have the hermit with the crown chakra it's saying that at this time meditation may be really useful because you're getting information coming in straight from spirit the hermit holds the star in his lamp okay the hermit goes off up the mountain to learn from spirit so that they can bring the information back to the people so that's why you have the crown shocker with both of the earth star and the earth okay uh, this is also indicating that you have again they're saying work uh, rewards for past work well done so you're about to harvest um, so pay attention to your meditations and your dreams because there's information there for you and previous meditations and dreams are now going to be coming true so you may have had uh, they're saying um, upwards of the last like two to five years you know if you've kept a meditation journal or a dream journal maybe go back and reference some of that because some of the things that you thought maybe were going to come in rather immediately now is the time to reap those rewards so any of them that didn't come in or didn't work out the way that you wanted them to now are um, coming on in uh, we have the earth star chakra with the knight of wands okay so we have this initiation and this initiation is going to be kind of quick and passionate here all right so it feels like uh, your passion is returning what i'm feeling like with this one because like sometimes the knight of wands can be hasty or um here for a good time but not for a long time what this feels like to me is some of you may be having a physical because they're showing me like a kundalini awakening when your kundalini energy in your spine uh, unravels and it can be very quick um, but life changing, life altering. It's a, it's an absolute initiation, and it's initiation that, um, you know, what this is saying is kind of like an initiation by fire, as in the fires of spirit. Okay, um, the energy situation. It feels like your passion is going to be increasing. You're being initiated into quicker energy more passionate energy and it feels like that this initiation that's coming in for you um doesn't take a long time but it alters your life for the positive from here forward so this feels like to me this initiation is purging out anything from the old life or denser energies that you were still holding on to so it's almost like 
you have this experience. It could be a dream. It could be um, you see a piece of art that just opens your eyes to things, uh, opens your body to things. You could have a physical full-on kundalini awakening or reawakening. So you absolutely could have a physical experience. You could have a physical experience with another person that opens you up to spirit and changes your life forever. But this does feel like a very quick initiation, a quick transition. All right. So it's like this could be an aha moment or a breakthrough that opens you to uh, forever being different. It, it changes the program within your brain. Um, I love this because if you feel like things have not been working out for you, they start to work out for you really well. If you feel like you were unlucky in love, all of a sudden you're lucky in love because you've you've made a shift. Um, and spirit is engaging this um, from the earth star chakra. I will say um, you may have this experience in nature. So again, like I said at the beginning, those of you who have been feeling like you need to travel to ley lines or travel to uh, certain spots that feel like vortex spots or just being out in nature often and repeatedly, there's going to be an initiation in that that's super positive and uh, yields the next years of your life, you know, moving forward in this lifetime, really positive results. You are harvesting and magnetizing uh, your destiny at this time. We have the earth which with nurture nature and the four of swords. Uh, you are absolutely here to help to heal yourself and heal the earth to balance things out. Um, this is indicating that this equinox, if you can be out in nature, please do. Okay. Even if you just um, get in the water or take a walk through the forest or, um, you know, like hug a tree, whatever it may be that you feel like you're supposed to do, please go do it because it's going to have a healing effect for you and for planet earth. The magnetism and the magnetics at equinox are extremely balanced and it changes and turns the seasons and turns the time. So if you can be one with nature and be in the process of uh, doing things by the moon cycles, doing things by the natural rhythm of Mother Earth. It's going to have a real healing effect for you. It's going to fertilize your dreams. It's going to help you to come out of the cold and wake back up again, okay? And to go from that kind of darker night where you felt like things were on ice to um, warming back up again to not only your passions, um, but to life itself. So this is a beautiful harvest time for you guys. This is life changing. Like I'm feeling with this equinox that the changes that happen on or around this equinox are for your destiny, just with the astrology that was before equinox and the eclipses that are coming up. This is a big one. This is a course correction that has happened. And now it's time for you guys to reap your harvest and reap your rewards for work that's already been done. You do not need to um, earn this, okay? They're being very clear that you have already earned this. Not that you ever need to earn a blessing, but you've already earned it. You've put in more than your fair share for this whole lifetime and multiple others, okay? You guys have been uh, major worker bees in the ascension of the planet, and now they're wanting you to reap your rewards to enjoy, okay? Let me just get a Sacred Destiny Oracle to close us out for this Equinox reading, but I really love it, you guys. Okay. They gave two, and it's happiness with the dolphins. Dolphins have been up for me lately, so this may be a sign for you guys. So uh, dolphins may show themselves to you, but it's time for happiness, okay? Spirit's reiterating. And then taking risks with the hawk. Hawk may also be a spirit animal for you, or you may be seeing hawks. That's allowing you to know it's okay to take a risk. All right. So for those of you that wanted to travel, this looks like I think it might be Sedona. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but that's the, you guys can let me know if that's what this picture is. Like if that's actually Sedona or not, but that's what they showed me. Um, for some of you have been wanting to go there. Um, so if that's been a call, this is your sign, okay? Um, 
but uh, this is taking a risk towards your happiness, okay? So sometimes we're, we magnetize in what we'd like to have, but there is a bit of a risk for it. It was like when I was asked to move to Hawaii, um, I absolutely knew that I was to live on Kauai. I knew that I was to, to live there, that that was my home and that I would be asked. But when the time came, it felt like a big risk. It felt scary. All right. I did it anyway. And it's the best decision I could have ever made. I've been so much happier, um, by listening to my calling than I've ever been in my life. Not that I don't go through hard times. There's been some really hard times lately, um, but I'm still happier than I've ever been. I'm not being crushed by the depression. I'm not being crushed by the emotional field that used to um, uh, happen, okay? Especially when we're very empathic, it can be that way until we learn how to, to regulate. And with this, taking a risk card had I not taken the risk I don't know where I would be today or if I would still be on planet earth in a human form okay so take the risks that you need to take for you okay pay attention for to hawks and we have um and we have dolphins okay both of those things may be very big signs we also have blue butterfly and the blue orbs so those are the three signs that really showed up and then they just showed me the white uh, rabbit, okay? There are other animals on here, but the white rabbit, the, rab the white rabbits on this card may be a signal for you as well, okay? Um, it's time for happiness, you guys. This has gone a little bit long, but I really wanted us to be thorough. But the message is pretty well the same across the board that you are about to enter into a time of happiness and blessings and taking risks towards your ultimate happiness and destiny because you've already earned it the negative situations that seem like denser energy are about to be um are about to be replaced with really positive energies and it's really really important for you to spend time in natural places and to be with mother earth because that is the magnetism you are bringing in the new uh, for yourself but also for earth mother herself you guys um, receiving your blessings is the transition it is the new earth okay so receiving in that light receiving in that love that you've wanted and um yeah it's beautiful so i'm going to leave that there if you guys are still with me i do a uh, contest a drawing rather every month free to enter free to win for a 30 minute session with me personally if you would like to enter that here's how you do it you be a subscriber if you're not already so subscribe hit that bell button like and share this video and then in the comment section below write i am receiving my blessings now i am receiving my blessings now and that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing i'll do that on the first of the month on video and announce the winner and hopefully it is you so until next time aloha Happy Equinox. <laughs>